quick tutorial in L3D2 how to lower your entire map without losing the form of the land you know, you're just going to sink everything down the same distance this is uh, just a quick test map this is my current height map and as you can see all of this is actually above water right now and if we go into bulldozer just zoom out this will be the part that we're going to attempt to put underwater these two channels going down here it's very straightforward very simple first of all we'll close bulldozer back down minimize that always make a backup first so head into your p drive into your map source wherever your height map saved copy Put it wherever you would usually put it. In my case, it's just a backup folder for this particular height map. Close that down. Launch L3DT. In here, we're going to import height field. So you need to go to your map, GT export. can see we've got this is outlined but it's not red which means that it's it's not underwater and this is very simple to do so you go to operations height field change vertical range and this is your map as you can see the minimum altitude is already way above sea level anyway so whatever you change here needs to be reflected here so if you take 20 off of this and change it to 50 for example you need to take 20 off of this as well this will keep your form the form of your land your layout it won't flatten everything so on this one we're going to change it to from this 50 we're going to change it to minus 20 so that's a difference of 70 from the 50 that was before and on this one we will change it to 130 so that's kept the same gap between this minimum altitude and the maximum we click OK now you can see red here this means that the map will be underwater in these sections after that it's a file export active map layer I'm going to change this back to ASC and your file name you just direct it to your map source and wherever you've got your original height map save overwrite ok let it just run through the processes ok once it's saved you can minimize that for now back into terrain builder right click your height map refresh content from source because we've just overwritten that any luck this should turn blue to identify that there's water there sometimes it does that zoom out and then zoom back in you'll be able to find your map there you go we've now got water there and down here as well go back into your map frames processing rebuild terrain click OK OK don't know why that one always locks but save it once you've rebuilt terrain I I always go back to file, export, terrain, uh, back into my map here. and I always export it back to where I've just got it from. I don't know why, but sometimes I had issues where, regardless of what I'd imported and updated, it would revert back to an old version, but just doing that seems to have fixed it for me. So once you've got everything rebuilt, I'm going to go hop back into Bulldozer quickly. So here we are. Back in. So we know that there's two points down here that should have changed. There you have it. That's the channel underwater. Obviously, you could lower that further to get more if you really wanted to. We know that there was a part on the left corner that's also underwater. 
and the top right is also underwater. Obviously this works with increasing the height of your land as well. That's it, very straightforward, very fast process. The L3DT may take a little bit longer to process on larger maps as this is just a, a test map, but the principle is exactly the same.